So it is kind of eerie how sometimes I'll read about something and it'll be something kind of like far off and all of a sudden out of nowhere these things connect and from some person or somewhere else or pop culture there's a relation and it's just weird how this happens all the time. So today I want to talk about this video that was released a few months ago. It was called Robert Downey Jr. delivers a real bionic arm and basically if you I mean you can, it's pretty much explained in the title he pretends to be Tony Stark from Iron Man and he dresses up and he delivers this fully functional bionic arm um, to this little boy and it's part of this uh, project where 3d printed arms are constructed for people who need them. It's a great, great uh, project that's helping a lot of people. And so I was reading this book by Tony Robbins. He's a motivational speaker. He's made millions of dollars and he's donated millions of dollars to feed millions of people and done a lot of other stuff. The point is he released a new book which I've reviewed uh, in my other videos and that's gotten a lot of press. It's called Money Master the Game. He basically goes about interviewing some of the richest people on earth who have gotten their money through managing money and he he claims he gets their secrets but uh, long story short my perspective in a nutshell is um, you can't distill down someone who makes a living off of this they often do very complex stuff it can't be distilled down but that's just my personal opinion on it based off what I've read nonetheless I'm getting off track the point is I was reading that book and lo and behold he starts talking about how you know your future is bright and things are much better than you think and how awesome it is to live in a time and age uh, like today and how you don't realize it and then he goes in and explains all the things that make your life right now amazing and I think it's a great chapter to read for anyone who uh, likes to complain about life, likes to blame others, likes to say how crappy their life is because he really just breaks down every little thing that makes uh, this day and age amazing. And one of the things he talks about is this man, Albert Monero, who is a college student who pretty much revolutionized this whole process. So in a nutshell, what Albert has done is he, first off, is... Um, you know, he's changing the world in a way. He's in a way a mini Iron Man, a genius in a way. So he lived in this like random state and he had nothing to do. So what did he do? He went on the internet and self-educated himself. And he started building all these gizmos and gadgets that are quite complicated from my perspective. And all these electronics. And then he got really bored. So one day he decided to build these um, contraptions. And this is after winning a few, you know, state science fairs and stuff like that. So he's like, why not? I want to build a actual robotic arm I can control. And I think I can learn how. So he does. And then he starts incorporating something that you've probably heard of, maybe, in the, that's been cropping up in the last few years called 3D printing. Um, I thought it was too much hype. And apparently, like, this has blown up. It's revolutionized a lot of industries. Uh, now there, there's mini size 3D printers, and now there are massive size ones that are actually building cars. And you can literally build anything with this stuff. And um, it's much cheaper, and it's really, really cool. And so um, I have one at my school. And from what I can tell, a lot of people are going there just to, like, build trinkets. And it costs, like, two to five bucks to get one done. So I just thought it was like this little like fun thing, but apparently it's revolutionizing a lot of things. It's making a lot of things that would have cost a lot to build a lot cheaper. And I guess how it works is basically it layers it. It starts building it in layers and you can literally build anything you want from like any type of shape or design because it's built in layers from the bottom up. It kind of just constructs it and it, it has now plummeted the price of a lot of things that would have cost a lot more to manufacture. And so it's revolutionizing things. And what Albert has done, this college student, is he has uh, used 3D printing with 
bionic arm technology to just build these incredibly amazing things and may he's made them so affordable this was not affordable to the average family just a year or two ago but now he's dropped the price immensely and allowed and created tremendous value for many many families out there or people out there who need uh who, who could very much benefit from having um a bionic arm or limb to help them out because they don't have an arm or limb or they were injured or they they got into a car crash and he's reduced the price so low that it has become affordable and in the process i'm sure he's you know he's helped a lot of people and i think that's one of the most common misconceptions about rich people that uh they don't benefit others or create value or give value by becoming rich oftentimes they are creating the most value they're giving the most value uh, the people who have made the most money oftentimes have created and generated a lot of value you wouldn't be watching this video now if it wasn't for bill gates and microsoft um, they've contributed a lot of money and so in this way you know uh, this this college student he is changing the world and when i think about it um and the, the video has gone viral if you don't already know it has about 10 million views and basically uh they made it fun they colored the arm and designed it so it was literally an iron man mini arm for this little kid and so it you know when i think about people like this you know i don't have that knowledge or intellect or capability of doing something like this but it gives me a warm feeling in my heart because um it's kind of like i realized that my problems are petty and there are people out there like albert who are they're dedicating their time and effort to make the world a better place they're trying to help people out there make a huge difference and it's awesome that he's probably going to make a, a good income from this as well hopefully um and if not you know there are people out there who are doing nonprofit stuff and making a huge impact becoming parts of large charity groups and devoting their time to make a difference for people less fortunate than us and when i think about people like albert monero who are making a difference in this world and doing these things um my problems my wants my desires my um my goals uh, in certain ways they become petty and for me i perceive that as a good thing it warms my heart because i uh, you know i take things less seriously i don't get down on myself as much and i'm just like wow that's awesome that's awesome this man is doing great things he is changing the world for the better and he has put himself aside and he's doing things to help people and really make a difference wow that's all i gotta say let me know in the comments what you think about all this do you agree with me or do you have a different stance and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching see ya